I've been wrong this whole time. This whole fucking time. It wasn't my rep that was the best knife that I had. It was a cracker racking. Let's do a review on it. So, uh, this is my one year end review of the Crack Rack and Bell Song from Peyoden 888 on AliExpress. And you can already see I've done some damage to it, some real damage. Um, honestly, great knife. They actually did the bushings really well on this one. The bushings are actual quality, unlike the uh, rep. And I did my own little mod here, a little paracord. Um, Kind of like grip mod, really, giving me a little better, uh, better grip on it. Um, you can obviously see it's differentiating between that and on this side. So like, it's different on one handle than the other. That's for bite handle indicator. Also for the fact that um, oh shit, <laughs> I want to hurt my razor hunts my keyboard. And also for the fact that it's just it makes it flip better. It honestly does. Uh, yeah, I can't flip. Hold on. There we are. Also, I'm shooting this on a um, Samsung Galaxy A32, and color grading isn't really that good. But honestly, that's not that. F that's fine. I mean, I can make FHD videos at 30 FPS. That's fine by me. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, one thing to add, it is weirdly blade biased from what I can tell. It just does not like to carry through tricks um, unless you have some weights at the bottom of the handles. Because, but then again, you're, you, when you think about it, you're pairing a D2 blade um, right next to aluminum handles, which I don't know if these, these are 6061 aluminum or... Um, 7075. Either way, they're just not equally weighted. And I mean, obviously, since this is a clone, I'm not, I shouldn't really give it too much of leeway. Because I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's a clone, right? But when I consider the aspects, this is actually a pretty well built clone. Like, it's pretty fucking nice. The blade has no edge whatsoever. ever. I mean, kind of has an edge, but honestly not. That's because I don't really have a sharpening system to sharpen it. Um, and I don't want to go out and buy a Lansky sharpener or... I just It's just not a worthy investment for now, because I'm not going to be using this ADC. Because for some reason, um, uh, other shop owners that I've worked with um, in retail are pretty edgy about a guy having a balisong as an EDC knife. Don't know fucking why, but uh, living in Georgia, you know. And no, these things are not like these things are legal. Don't worry. It's just I don't know. People are edgy. They think they understand a lot, but they don't really bother to look it up for themselves. Doing some uh, Steam Community Market sales. If you guys are uh, interested in buying any of my items, hit me up on Steam. Or, you know, you could just search for the items. I usually have them listed at the cheapest price. One thing to add is that um, since the Bushings are done really well on this knife. You can actually torque them down fully and they don't completely give out on you after a while. Now, that doesn't go to say that, uh, of course, the bushings don't, the pivot screws don't back out for like forever, you know? Like, oh yeah, I torque it down fully and it just does not back out whatsoever. No, it's going to regardless, unless you Loctite it. 
And if we're going to do that, use paracord Loctite. That's been like the golden standard in the Balsan community. Very nice. Fuck. And honestly, I mean, as much as I like the aesthetic of the rep, I like how the design of it, I just, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna flip one unless I get a real one, honestly. It's just not worth it getting a clone. Fuck. And someone in the comments in my last video told me to um, get a rep from Bally Plus, like the newest Bally Plus rep. I'm like, nah, no thanks. I mean, I'm not doing that. Also, while I'm on the topic of BRS, what the fuck are you guys doing? An aluminum bare bones? Seriously? I hope to God it doesn't cost extra or more than the original bare bones. You know, the V2, when that came out, to, yeah, to over $200, but still, that's that was your budget option. BRS, what the fuck? No matter how hard you try, you can't really hate on this knife. All in all, performance is pretty nice for what you get, or at least what you pay for anyways. But, see, I see, it's already getting a little rattly there, a little blade tap. But don't worry, that won't happen for yours. Um, as long as you keep it com almost completely torqued down, like as much as you can, but then like give it a tiny bit of leeway and then put some oil on it, like some lubricant or whatever, it'll do the rest. It'll completely perform as much as you want it or as better as you want it to. But as much as I like channel titanium or channel uh, bell songs, I do prefer a latch sometimes. So yeah, so I, the fact that they didn't include it a latch with the Cracker Racken model kind of makes me sad. But that's okay. I don't really mind. Yeah, I got nothing else. If you're asking if um, I, you know, if it's a good idea to buy it, yeah, sure. Unless you want to save up your money, buy the Archangel clone. That works too. Just make sure you get it off AliExpress and off the official pay payout in 888 store and not um, through Euro Balasong themselves, because that is a ticket to disappointment. So yeah, peace. That's all I got for y'all today. Next video is going to be a um, first look at my jacket project.